What's up guys, today we are going to do a quick lesson on work. Okay, we're gonna talk about its formula, what it means, and I'm gonna show you an example of how you can use work with its basic formula. But first guys, work is a use of energy. All right, so anytime energy is used, we say that work is been done. It has a symbol of just capital W, all right, so when we see it in formulas, you're gonna see it written as capital W, and it has a unit because it is a use of energy of joules, capital J, okay? That makes it a scalar quantity, all right? And it's going to have a couple different variations of its formula, but we are gonna look at just the basic one today. We are gonna look at the formula that says that work is going to be equal a force times a displacement, times the cosine of theta. So this is gonna be written as F. This is written however you guys write it. In the AP level, we write it as delta X. You might see it written as maybe S, or maybe you see it written as D, however you use it, but we use delta X on the AP level. And this cosine of theta, that's gonna be equal to work. All right, and let's talk exactly what this cosine is because sometimes you're just gonna see it written as work equals fx, okay? So when do you have to put this cosine in and when do you not? Let's take a look at that really quick. To help us understand that, I'm gonna write the formula just a little bit differently. I'm gonna write it like this. F cosine theta delta X. And the reason I did that, guys, is I want you to see that I put this in between F and displacement. And the reason I did that is because the cosine of the theta, theta is going to be equal to the angle between F and delta X. So if we look at examples of these, and I show you what I mean by this, if I have a box on a horizontal surface, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a force Fa equal to three newtons, and I'm gonna move that box a displacement delta x equal to two meters. We see that there is no angle between the displacement and the applied force. Theta in this case is equal to zero degrees. And the cosine of zero degrees, guys, is one. So when you are on a horizontal surface and the force is in the same exact direction as the displacement, that's when we can write this as just work equals Fx. All right, what's gonna happen is sometimes the box is not going to be, uh, the applied force is not gonna be in the same direction. So here's what I mean by that. If I were to look at this box here, now I have this applied force that's going up this way, but the displacement is gonna go this way, all right? So now I have this theta here, all right? And that theta, now I need the work equals F cosine theta X. Now I need this to be in here. So that's when I'm gonna rewrite this as the cosine of theta x and not just f of x. Let's take an example, do some math so we can see exactly what I'm talking about. In this first example, I'm gonna have a box and it's gonna be pulled on a frictionless surface with an applied force equal to five newtons and it is gonna move a displacement equal to two meters, okay? That's gonna be the displacement. So when I wanna solve for this, I'm just gonna say work equals F cosine theta delta X, where F is gonna be equal to five newtons. The cosine of theta, which is zero degrees in this case, times two meters, so the work done is going to be 10 joules, because like once I said, the cosine of theta, uh, the cosine of zero is one. But now, if I have the exact same force on the exact same box, 
But now let's say that applied force Fa, five newtons, is now at a theta equal to 60 degrees, even if I move the same distance delta x equal to two meters, let's see how the work now changes. Work is going to be equal to F cosine theta delta x. We have that same five newton force, but now we need to factor in that cosine of 60 degrees times two meters. So we have five, the cosine of 60 degrees is 0.5 times two, we see that we have now done half the amount of work, only five joules, okay? Now guys, this is a very basic way to use the work formula. In the next video, we're gonna see how work is also equal to a change in energy. So if you've seen that and you're kind of wondering why I didn't talk about that, that's a completely different video. Check that one out. And if you're curious on if this is F net or not, I just did a video on that. You can see if this is F net or if it's just a regular force. Have yourselves, guys, a great day.